Prime Minister Shabaz Sharif said that Pakistan had given a clear message to the International Monetary Fund about the country's desire to complete the ninth review of the $7 billion extended fund facility. Addressing the launch of a loan scheme in Islamabad, the Premier reiterated the government's desire to complete the review. So I have written this story today. We have written it and today I am going to give this message to IMF. Ko ये मैं गुजारिश कर रहा हूँ मेरी उनकी जो आईएमएफ की जो मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर हैं उनसे भी मेरी बात दो हफ्ते पहले हुई थी और पिछले चंद दिनों में उनको हमने प्रोएक्टिवली उनको अप्रोच किया है कि हम बिला तखीर नाइन्थ रिव्यू जो है उसको हम मुकम्मल करना चाहते हैं ताकि आपके साथ जो प्रोग्राम जो आगे बढ़े और दूसरे इसी तरह मल्टीलेटरल और बायोलेटरल जो हमारे जो जो हमारे प्रोग्राम जो हैं वो भी आगे बढ़ें Islamabad is waiting for the ninth review of a loan arrangement that the previous government signed with the IMF. The review would lead to the release of the next tranche of funds to Pakistan that has been pending since September. The Prime Minister's remarks come a day after it was reported that the government's fear of losing popularity before the elections seems to be keeping Pakistan from finalizing a deal with the IMF that could stabilize the economy. PTI leader Fawad Chaudhry cried foul after reports regarding National Assembly Speaker Raja Parvez Ashraf accepting the resignations of more PTI lawmakers emerged on media. National Assembly officials told Dawn.com that Ashraf has accepted further resignations and forwarded them to the Election Commission of Pakistan. However, there is no official confirmation on the matter. Reacting to the development, Chaudhry tweeted that the purpose of PTI members going back to the Assembly was to oust Raja Riyaz from the position of the opposition leader. He also pointed out that 40% of seats in the National Assembly were now empty. Today's development comes the day after 45 PTI MNAs sent their handwritten withdrawals to the Speaker via email and demanded the nomination of a new opposition leader from among them. The PTI members also met Chief Election Commissioner Sikandar Sultan Raja and informed him about their decision to return to the National Assembly after nine months. A day after a massive breakdown hit Pakistan, Minister for Energy Ukaram Dastagi said that electricity has been fully restored at grid stations across the country. However, major cities including Karachi, Quetta and Lahore remain deprived of power. In a televised address, the minister explained that there was a delay in synchronization between Tarbela and Mangla power plants. However, the minister pointed out that there will be a shortage of electricity for the next week. टेक्निकल चैलेंज हमें दरपेश हुआ तरबेला और बंगला के दरमियान सिंक्रोनाइजेशन है यानी आपने बिजली के जो निज़ाम है उसको हम गाम करना है हम कदम करना है अगले जो 48 घंटे हैं उन बिजली की कुछ कमी रहेगी क्योंकि ये प्लांट्स अवेलेबल नहीं हैं तो महदूद पैमाने पर लोड शेडिंग होगी जिससे सनती सार्फीन है a top Indian university has banned the screening of a BBC documentary about Prime Minister Narendra Modi's role during the deadly 2002 sectarian riots after his government attempted to block its spread online. The broadcaster's program alleges that the Hindu nationalist Modi, Premier of Gujarat state at the time, ordered police to turn a blind eye to an orgy of violence there that left at least 1,000 people dead, most of them minority Muslims. Students at the prestigious Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi had planned to screen a documentary on Tuesday, defying efforts by Indian authorities to restrict its showing. But a memo from the university registrar late on Monday ordered students to cancel the event and warned it would take strict disciplinary action if its edict was disobeyed. Modi's government has been accused of stifling dissent by free speech activists and opposition leaders for years. On Saturday, it used emergency powers under India's controversial information technology laws to block the documentary from being shared on social media. Government advisor Kanchan Gupta slammed the series as hostile propaganda and anti-India garbage, disguised as a documentary.